Welcome and a very good evening to everyone and to this BCSA event on spiral stabilization. Something completely different this time from our usual programs. It is my great pleasure to introduce Jana Mitachkova, an experienced practitioner who will discuss and demonstrate the spiral method. And if it looks as though I've got a, an extra bulge, it's for the microphone. So I shall benefit from the exercises as well. So Jana is happy to, inter to answer questions after the exercises. And I hope that we'll all benefit. If you're feeling in need afterwards, as if we've done all the exercises, there will be some refreshments, so don't dash off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Some wine as usual. <laughs> um, all right, so thank you very much for coming. Um, I think it's very good turnout online, especially. So hi to everybody there. Thank you for coming and spending Tuesday evening with us. <laughs> um, and special thank you to actually Jana for organizing this and BCSA for inviting me because uh, I think it's a great uh, opportunity for me to, to share our Czech method with you that was invented by uh, Dr. Smyšek. Um, you maybe saw, I don't know, during lockdown, we recorded a recorded video for um, for members that was sent to them. So maybe you've seen it, uh, but I'll tell you more about the method in, in, in more details uh, this evening. Um, I personally got involved or came across spiral stabilization back in 2000, 2005 when I completed a uh, master's in economics. So I've been in fitness field, but in completely different field that I studied. Um, and while I was studying um, in back in Ostrava in Czech Republic, um, I was quite involved at the sports faculty. Um, actually, became a, I became a trainer and I was teaching exercise classes for students at the campus. And Dr. Smyšek was uh, coming to our um, sports faculty to teach a course. And I booked for the course because um, it was a way of me finding out if it could help my mum. If, I don't know if you know what scoliosis is, it's, um, it's uh, I've got spine with me, so I'll demonstrate everything <laughs> so it's easier to understand. So uh, scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine. So uh, my mum, kind of suffered since her childhood um, with it, with quite severe condition. Um, and uh, I booked for the course with Dr. Smyšek because uh, I wanted to discover if it was um, possible to help her somehow. Um, then I trained with him, convinced my mom to give it a go, to try, and uh, she saw absolutely phenomenal results. So I started to be interested a bit more. And about nine years ago, it became my uh, full-time job. So I see clients on one-to-one -one basis. I do group sessions, um, online session, face-to-face. -face. I train also internationally therapists, um, for example, physiotherapist, osteopath, or um, massage therapist, Pilates yoga teachers who train with us. And then they use the method with their own clients so they can help as well. So let's uh, let's dive in and let's uh, let's start. So um, for spiral stabilization method, we use the method is based on combination of exercise and manual therapy techniques, um, and we use special uh, special muscle connections that Dr. Smyšek uh, described. Um, and um, I'll talk about it uh, in a minute, but he described uh, vertical and spiral chains, and we use these, um, these muscle connections to, to perform exercises, but to also loosen up tension in the body that's causing most conditions. Um, so this is uh, Dr. Smyšek, um, who invented the method about 40 years ago. Um, he's based in, in Prague, in the Czech Republic, and uh, he's got also two daughters who are both uh, both doctors. One is based in Brno, one in Prague with him, and they uh, do therapy courses, teach other practitioners, um, and then do um, treatments for clients. And you can book a special, for example, four, five, seven days program at the clinic um, to, uh, to improve your condition, whatever it is. Um, so we specialize in back pain and spinal disorders. And uh, they treated over 20,000 patients at the clinic. 
uh, over 20,000 patients and uh, the method is quite popular worldwide. Dr. Smishek was uh, very involved in training therapists um, in China and South Korea before lockdown um, and I also helped to spread the method and, and, and teach other therapists um, abroad. Um, <clears throat> Um, we've got a lot of publications, so Dr. Smishek uh, written four books. Um, some of the uh, merchandise is available on my website, so you can have a look. Um, and uh, in Germany, it's been popular for about 20, 30 years and paid through, paid through um, medical, medical insurance. Um, I think we can move on to what we specialize in. So um, online or social media or in the books, you can call, you can see the method being called SPS. And we uh, specialize in treating back pain and spinal disorders um, and also disorders in joints, such hip, knee, shoulder, because um, everything in the body is connected. So we not, if somebody's got a shoulder problem, we're not gonna treat only the shoulder, but we look at the body as a whole. So we treat the entire movement Movement, movement apparatus um, and we preventing any degeneration within the spine that's uh, going to happen in the future hopefully not once you know now what to do then you can you can prevent it um, and as I said we use exercise combination of exercise and manual therapy techniques um, this is how it looks when we do uh, therapy courses um, when we use the exercise band I'll demonstrate a few exercises so when we do big group um, group class group exercises or we do also one-to-one, um, one-to-one -one sessions. And for the treatment to be uh, much more effective and successful, we add the manual therapy techniques. So for example, if somebody's got a slip disc or disc herniation, um, introducing the manual hands-on stuff can speed up the treatment process. So for example, with exercise, um, clients can heal slip disc within, within a year. Um, if we add manual therapy, that can be three to six months. It really depends on the client's condition. Um, and we creating general um, traction, um, loosening up tightness in the muscles that causing spinal compression. And we have techniques for, for upper body, lower body, pelvis, neck, etc. Um, now, this is one of the main principles and for you to understand the method and how we actually prevent back pain and, and various conditions. Um, so Dr. Smishek um, kind of divided, I would say, muscles or certain muscle connections into two groups. And we've got on the, I actually have got this. Is it gonna work? Yes, perfect. So um, Dr. Smishek uh, described these muscles or muscle connections as a vertical muscle chain. So all muscles that run through the body in, uh, in vertical lines. And that is, if, I've, if I'll show you and I'll demonstrate here, uh, these are especially muscles along the spine, uh, muscles along the spine, hip flexors here, and then it continues down to the leg, front of the thigh, back of the leg. So all of these muscles that run in vertical lines have actually tendency to be quite tight. So over time there's tightness and the tightness in the vertical chains is gonna cause compression of the spine. Yeah, not only compression of the spine, but also it will have an effect on the, on the joints. Um, so in order to reverse the compression, we try to create spinal traction and decompression and do the, do the opposite. And the way we do that is that we exercise um, spiral muscles. Um, and they start here from the shoulder blade, from the scapula, and they run across um, this way, across the abdominal wall, all the way down into the leg. Um, I'll try to simplify things and not to make it anatomy lesson because I'll talk about muscles quite a bit, um, but it, it's easy to understand. So I will actually use the strap here. So for you to understand how, how this works, um, what the function of the spiral chains is, because it's quite important for the spinal decompression. So the chain runs either from the right or left side. It runs from both sides. Um, from the shoulder blade and then the muscles here connect to abdominal wall, oblique muscles, and then it wraps the body around, continues through the glutes, through the bum, through down the leg into the foot. So um, we, for example, treat the feet 
through the shoulder blade. So if somebody's got flat foot, we treat that from, from the upper body bits because it's all connected. So you can see how it wraps the body, how it wraps the body around. And if I now use our exercise band, just to demonstrate one exercise, I'll go this way. I hope I'm not touching the mic. Um, can you see this strap? <laughs> yeah, great. So if I'm gonna do one of our basic exercise, we call it waiter, as if I'm holding a tray in my hand. And uh, I'm gonna now relax my abdominal wall. And if I do the exercise when I bring my shoulder blades together, have a look what happens now with the strap. Can you see? Or I'll go for the people online. <laughs> yeah, and I can do that sideways as well. So I relax. And I'll go here and I engage my shoulder blade and you can see how my waist is very much narrowing here. Yeah. So if you imagine water bottle, when you squeeze it, the water goes up and the same effect here we have on the spine. So if I've got, if I've got too much compression, but now I exercise, I engage the shoulder blade, that's where the spiral muscle starts. That naturally engages the abdominal wall. And then engagement, narrowing of the waist, engagement of the abdominal wall is going to push the spine upwards in upwards motion. Yeah, And we're creating that way natural traction and decompression of the spine.